us a mathematician. Welcome to the study of mathematics. This mathematics is for grade 9 to 12 of, and we are looking at division of 3D. This is a question which comes with the 10 marks and normally it is very simple to handle. So in this question, we are told the diagram below shows a square based pyramid V as you can see B here vertically above the midpoint of the base. Mini point is somewhere here of the base. PQ, PQ is equal to 10 centimeter and VR is equal to 13 centimeter. M is the mini point of VR. Then we are told to find the two decimal places the length PR. So as you can see clearly here, PR is the hypotenuse. So we extract a small rectangle like this. Now, so PR is the hypotenuse. Since this is a square, PQ is 10 and also QR is 10. So by Pythagoras theorem, we can obtain PR as follows. So PR is given by QR squared plus QP squared. Then we substitute, which is equal to 10 squared plus 10 squared, which is equal to 200. So PR will be equal to square root of 200, which is equal to, so square root of 200, correct to two decimal places is 14.14.14. .14 .14. Centimeter. Part two, you are going to obtain the height of the pyramid. You can see here the height of the pyramid. So we, the height of the pyramid will be here, and this triangle it is a right angle at the center. So from this diagram, VR is 13, OR is half PR. So OR is half PR, PR is 14, so half 14 is 7.07. So by Pythagoras theorem again, we get VO. Then by VR squared minus OR squared. So uh, 13 squared is 169, 7.07 squared is uh, 49.98. When you subtract, uh, you are going to obtain 119.02 square root of this one equal to two decimal places is 10.91 centimeter. So that is the height. VO is the height of our pyramid. Is the height of the pyramid as you can see in that diagram there. The next question is the angle between VR and the P and the base PQR. Now we consider this diagram. So the angle between VR, the angle between VR and the base PQRS is the angle between the line VR and X and X projection. The projection of VR on the plane. PQRS is RO. So the angle between now VR and this plane, plane PQRS is the angle between VR and its projection. So it is the angle at this point here, the angle at, at here. So it is all the signs, we can use any trigonometric ratio to obtain our angle. So using uh, tan, tan is given by opposite, which is 10.91 divided by the adjacent, which is 7.07, .07, and equal to two decimal places, it will be equal to, angle will be 57.06. Let me write it properly, 57.06, and degrees equal to two decimal places. The angle between MR and the base PQR, so we go to the diagram, MR. So the projection, the projection of MR on the plane is the same. It is R 
O. So the angle between M R and the projection will be given by. So it will be given by sine theta, which is the opposite, 10.91 divided by the hypotenuse, which is 13. So theta is sine inverse of the 7.06. So that is the angle between MR and the base PQRS. Finally, the angle between the plane QVR and, and the PQRS. So from the diagram, so the angle between plane Q, V, R, and the base will be will be this angle. The angle between the line V, V N, and and line N O. So so in the diagram, O N is half ten, which is five. And VO is 10.9. So we want this angle here. The angle here, it is the one which is needed. Remember, the angle between two planes, it is the angle between two lines drawn perpendicular uh, from the line which they are sharing. So plane QVR and plane PQRS are sharing line. Q R. So the angle between these two lines, line N O and line and line N V is the angle which is the angle between the two planes, which is found as follows. So this angle here, which can be written as tan, I can call it alpha, tan of alpha is equal to opposite, which is 10.91 divided by 5. Alpha is equal to tan inverse. So which is equal to 65.36 degrees after obtaining the tan inverse. Uh, so let us do the recap of our working. So the first thing you are going to obtain it is line length PR. PR is the hypotenuse. So by Pythagoras theorem, PR will be obtained by base square times 8 squared. Uh, Then we obtain the square root as shown here. The height of the pyramid here will be obtained by a hypotenuse squared, which is uh, 13 minus the minus the half of PR, which is half of which is uh, 7.0. So 13 squared is 169. 0 0.7.07 squared is 49.98. When you subtract, you get 111.02. And the square root will be 119.02. The square root will be 10.91. Then the angle between VR and PQ, uh, here it is this angle. The angle between the line VR and the plane PQRS, it is the angle between the, the line and its projection on this uh, uh, plane. So, also the angle between line, which is obtained by tan theta, which is opposite, 10.91 divided by adjacent 7.07. .07. Tan inverse of that is 57.06. Then, the angle between MR and the base, when you look at this diagram, MR, the projection of MR on this plane, on this plane, on plane P, QRS is RO. So the angle between them will be the angle between VR and its projection, which, which is angle VRO. So I use sine. Sine theta is given by op opposite, which is 10. Point 91 divided by a potent which is 13. Sine inverse of this is 57.06. Finally, the angle between the planes QVR and PQRS. It will be so the angle between the plane QVR and the plane PQRS is the angle between two lines drawn 
from the common line which is QR. So one of the line drawn at right at 90 degrees here, it is line NV. And the other line from, from the common line, it is line NO. NO is half of this uh, length. It is half how PQ. So, so that is why now we are taking this one as 5. It is 5. The height we found as 10.91. So now, uh, to get the angle, angle alpha from given by 10, opposite 10.91 divided by and adjacent, which is 5. Then alpha will be given by tan inverse of 10.91 divided by 5. And the result will be 65.36 degrees. So thanks so much for taking your time to study with me on 3D. Uh, for more such study, kindly join my YouTube channel so that you may get more learning of this kind as we keep on learning together. Bye bye for now. See you in the next video. In case you are new, consider to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single video which I teach now and then. Also click on the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever there is a new release. Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching.